Carl Pruitt of Pulaski County, Kentucky, had the misfortune of coming home from his job as a carpenter one afternoon in 1938 to discover his wife in bed with another man. Pruitt flew into a rage, strangling his wife to death with a chain as her lover escaped out the window. Pruitt then killed himself with a gunshot to the head. To appease his wife's devastated family, Pruitt was buried in a cemetery several miles outside of the community. It wasn't long before visitors to the cemetery began to notice that discolorations on Pruitt's tombstone began to eerily resemble a chain. People began flocking to the cemetery to see for themselves, including a group of young boys who rode their bicycles to the graveyard. One boy, to prove his bravery in front of the others, threw a rock at Pruitt's gravestone, chipping a piece off. On the way home, the chain on the boy's bike suddenly and mysteriously flew off. He was found strangled to death, the bike chain around his neck. The boy's heartbroken and enraged mother smashed Pruitt's stone to bits with merciless blows from an axe. The woman was discovered dead the next day, her body hanging from her own clothesline. Visitors to the graveyard were aghast to discover that Pruitt's tombstone was completely undamaged. Not long afterwards, a local man armed with a hammer and a chisel went into the cemetery to smash the gravestone and end the rumor mongering that was picking up steam in the community. He was discovered the next day, strangled by a chain used to lock the cemetery gate, his face frozen in sheer terror. Then there was the story of a farmer and his family who were riding past the cemetery in a horse-drawn cart. As they passed, the farmer drew a pistol and shot at the tombstone several times, leaving it chipped and broken in several places. The loud blasts from his gun, however, startled the horses who charged forward, throwing the farmer from the cart. He was strangled to death by the horse's reins. His family was uninjured. Once again, the gravestone was found to be in perfect shape, with no evidence of chipping from bullets. Panic and fear began to spread in the community as people, even skeptics, became convinced that the ghost of Carl Pruitt was strangling people to death. Two police officers who were dispatched to the cemetery to check things out decided to take pictures of themselves in front of Pruitt's grave. As they left in their cruiser, an unidentified bright light began to follow them. The terrified officers tried to speed away, but instead drove off the road and smashed into a fence. One officer was thrown from the car and survived the crash. His partner, however, was dead, nearly decapitated by a fence chain. With all of the deaths connected to the cemetery and specifically Pruitt's gravestone, few people ventured in, and it quickly became overgrown with vegetation and virtually abandoned. The cemetery property was purchased by a mining company in the late 1950s. Human remains were exhumed and reburied in other cemeteries. Tombstones, including the one belonging to Carl Pruitt, were removed. The ghost of the chain strangler was never heard from again.